What up, what up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. This is day two on our Sedona electric mountain bike adventure. It's gonna be me and Crystal uh, with both of our BBSO2 builds. Me with the uh, giant trans. Crystal has the Trek fuel. We're just riding around basically the airport area because guess what? These bikes are not really allowed in any trails in Sedona. Not that I know of. mainly pavement ride and take a lot of photos today. But here we are at the Airport Vista Overlook. $3 per parking. And they said they closed till midnight. So it should be really cool. Uh, we're gonna bike around for two hours. And um, they said, I think sunset time should be really nice here as well. Look at that view guys. I am sad that um, a lot of places don't allow e-bikes here, which is really, you know, mind baffling. Comment below if you know the actual reason why they don't, but if I had to guess, it's maybe a fire hazard, for, for example, perhaps. All right, took a breather here. We'll bike around for about two hours, wait till sunset, see how close we can get to the runway. Your goggles, do you like it like that or you like it close to you? Because you can put it close to you. You like it like that? Okay, it's fine. She looks so cool with her new helmet and goggles. It's basically the same as mine. Then I'm just bummed out that we can't really bike in the mountain bike trails. To drive eight hours away and just to realize that you can't really use your mountain bike, guys. Not in Sedona. Not in, not at least in the trails. But yeah, check out this view, guys. This is the Mesa Grill, known for its nice airport view, nice scenic view of this. And we just biked it. Pretty cool. No planes uh, landing right now, or taking off, but that's the runway, I guess. And I also saw that there's a hot air balloon. That's something we we're considering, but we'd have to wake up like 5 a.m. for that. And we're already doing astrophotography around 3 a.m., 2, 2 to 3 a.m. So, you know, our rest is really split here and there. Whew. It's a little windy today. So we're still by the airport around, but we're going to exit and then we're gonna try some OHV um, areas. We'll try. Stupid me, I was, I left my tripod piece that connects to underneath the camera on the mount. And I would, uh, when we went to Joshua Tree, I just planted it on my backpack. But last night I had to really point the camera up for any kind of composition. Um, but either way, it was way too cloudy. We'll try again tonight to, um, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully catch some good Milky Way. Because I am a Milky Way enthusiast. Milky Way chaser, shall I say. Look at that view. We're like, we, it was so hard to imagine that the airport was in the top of this mountain. You know, what airport do you know that is on top of the uh, a mountain like this? Oh my God, Crystal, you're going too fast. I told her not to go too fast, jeez. Uh oh, went about 32 miles per hour and I'm braking. So we're gonna take a little bit to the highway because again, we're not really allowed on trails. What a big bummer. I spent all night, 5 a.m., I mean all morning, 
looking at uh, places that allow e-bikes, but they don't really allow e-bikes, guys. The one bonus in Sedona is it is bike friendly. You know, there's there's bike lanes just about everywhere. So I guess there is a there's a community of e-bikers for sure. But again, the, the downside is they're not allowed where the tourist hikers are. And I think that makes sense for safety purposes. We're chugging along here in the 89. You can see all the ATVs, right? Like so, the rentals and the four by fours because they're only allowed in the west side area of Sedona, or so it seems. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like street riding, even if there's a bike lane. I mean, of course, I'm thankful that there's a bike lane, but there's just so much more things to watch out for, you know? And I, I deem it very dangerous versus mountain biking. I didn't get an electric mountain bike so I can bike in the bike lane, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're proceeding west here on the 89 highway. And yeah, ideally, if I can like follow one of these off-roaders, like, like this one on my right, if I could follow them on an off-road adventure, that would be sweet. <laughs> that would be ideal. It's basically like a free tour guide. <laughs> Hopefully it's allowed. We'll see. A lot of the off-road vehicles were going this way. And this is like the creek, uh, I think, it, I forget what it's called, Creekside or uh, Canyon Trail, Creekside, something like that. But anyhow, I saw like three off-road vehicles go this way and we're gonna follow them. Cause they know, they know where to go already. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot, lots of dune buggies here. Lots of ATV rentals. Let's see where they go. Let's see where they came from. I hope we can get the adventure that they got. Still heading north here on Dry Creek. And it is getting very scenic. And still looking for the other off-road vehicles. Let's see where they enter. I'll try to pull over and look at my map soon, but so far it's a nice ride. Even though the bike lane's kind of dissipated, kind of. I'm trying to find the off-roading uh, trail. It's here somewhere, because I do see them coming back. I'm actually having fun just pavement riding, believe it or not. We're like surrounded by real nice scenery. Oh man, we've been chasing those uh, those dune buggies, those 4x4 off-roaders for like nine miles now. So we're gonna just actually go make our own way. We're miles away from Sedona already. And uh, we're gonna tr map to uh, Devil's Bridge. All right, all right. We took a minute of a break to take pictures by the Devil's Bridge Trailhead, which was a little bit that ways. And now we're finally gonna make our way to uh, Lover's Knoll. Hopefully uh, we can get as close to it as possible without you know, breaking some rules. And um, we've given up trying to tail those off-road 4x4 vehicles because I think they're going real far. Um, we couldn't keep up with them, you know? They're going way further away from Sedona. Um, we've already traveled 12 miles just to try to uh, catch with them. But, you know, it's okay. It's still a very scenic ride for us, even though it's not off-roading as much. Um, but again, I'm almost certain that every trail here says no e-bikes, no motorized vehicles. They're very strict on it because they cater the hikers first. And obviously safety for everyone is the priority. That's what it seems. All right, we just passed Red Rock High School. We're pretty far from the actual Sedona, believe it or not. But look at this ride. 
almost there, I think one mile from Lover's Knoll area. Whew. That was nice. That was a nice windy road. If I had known we've been we're gonna be only pavement riding, I'd have brought my Super 73. But I still want some kind of opportunity to go off-roading. I like this windy road. What a nice ride. Getting chilly for sure. We're going fast. So ever since Crystal swapped back to a BBSO2, she's been getting a lot more range, obviously. And she only has a 52 volt, 12 amp Luna Wolf battery. But you can notice that there's a increase of uh, range. Whew. All right, so people go here to take engagement and wedding photos and what have you. I'm gonna climb up for some views. A little bit of off-roading for sure. Oh, oh nice. Look at that view, guys. Short, quick up here. Hope Crystal can make it. So, what do you like about your new bike? You're still not used to the BBSO2? Your blue, your first blue bike was a BBS too. You remember that? Yeah. So it's the same motor as that. Yeah, it was. It was hard to um, acclimate to. I, I hard to acclimate to. It's the same. Yeah, but I had like a love hate relationship with that. What I meant. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, you can't you feel how lighter the bike is? Yeah. Like three to four pounds lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, lovers, no bucket list. <laughs> Done. Done. So. Yeah, the, the windy road was nice, huh? But now we have to climb back up it. All right, we're heading back to the airport. We're uh, going to decide to take the windier route. But yeah, this is the one and only time that we're actually off-roading. You want me to lead this part? Okay. It looks, it looks like it's a steady down. It's just one little drop here. Oh. Whew. And a little bit of rocky. First time on the rocky road of Sedona. You got it. Take that route. Good work. Alrighty. Take it. Take it away. Just watch the cars. Yeah, and again, this is the only one spot that I've seen so far that, you know, there's no, no e-bike signs. Thank God. Unless I didn't see it. Yep, I don't see it. It just says no camping, no campfire. Here we go. Losing light a little bit. We're taking the windy route towards the airport. 615. Let's get it. You. Turn on my lights. At least I got some kind of off-road. <laughs> I'm truly bummed out that there aren't any more off-roads for e-bikes around here. Climbing on up here in airport road. I think it's about a mile up. But look at the sunset and look how misty and cloudy today is. 
Um, that might not bode well for our uh, my 2 a.m. Milky Way excursion. Might not be a good fit. Look at that view, though. Look at that sunset view. wanted to say thank you for tuning in on our Sedona trip uh, vlog, adventure vlog. Like and subscribe for more content and check out the useful links in the description below for additional discounts on your Super 73 or Aerial Rider if you're more into pavement riding. And if you're not, if you're more off-roady, highly recommend a Vafang mid-drive kit. It's a great all-around tool, but definitely shines on the off-road mountain bike trails, for sure. All right, additional discounts, again, in the description below. Thank you for tuning in on today's adventure. I know it's not as off-roady as I'd like it to be, but I did visit the visitor information in Sedona, and they practically told me that you can't e-bike anywhere else on trails. E-bikes here are just allowed on pavement riding. So that's a bummer. But anyhow, if you know any loophole, if you're from Sedona and you know where you can actually e-bike without getting in trouble, comment below. I'd like to know more details. I definitely would come back here. Uh, I would hike it and I'd like to be a little bit more elevated, you know? Elevated in the trails with a mountain bike. See you guys in the next adventure. Peace. Wowzers. It is a show. And uh, a show that Crystal would not partake in. She just made a left. You didn't want to look at the sunset over there? <laughs>